This is my sister, don't we look alike? Hi everyone, welcome to the art club. My name is Michelle and I am going to try painting a picture of my sister today using watercolor. And I am not at all a watercolor pro. I do a lot of art, but working with watercolor is completely new to me, so I'm gonna do my best. And you can leave a comment below, tell me how you think I did, or tell me what I did wrong. Anyway, let's try. So here I have a pencil, and I am sketching out a picture of my sister. And this picture is not supposed to be an exact replica of her. It's just supposed to be a cartoon version that still kind of looks like her. I guess that's pretty much a caricature. And I'm messing up on the chin a little bit. Fixing it, drawing it over again. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wasn't doing a realistic picture. I was just sketching out a cartoon, a basic cartoon, sort of in like Disney-esque style, I guess. So once I got that to my satisfaction, I started to paint with watercolor. Now, the thing with watercolor is you use water, <laughs> obviously. So you, you have to wet the paints and the more water you use, the lighter the color is going to turn out. And so here I'm, I'm making the underneath portions of the waves of her hair. I'm trying to make them darker and the, the above portions of the waves the, the bulging out part, parts, those are supposed to be lighter. So as you paint with watercolor and as the paint dries, you can do more layers, which is what I'm doing right now. And the less water you use with the paint, the darker the color is going to come. And so here I'm just wetting her whole face with a really light um, sort of a beige color for her skin. And then I mixed a color of beige with some pink and some peach to do some shadows. So that's what I'm doing right there. And whenever you touch the watercolor onto the already wet watercolor, it will blend out. So this part is what makes me a little bit nervous about watercolor because the second you dab the wet paint onto the wet um, paper, it will spread out. And so that is the trick about watercolor is to learn how to sort of make the paint spread out, but in a, in a nice controlled way. And it's really fun, it's really neat. See, I just barely touched that part with the black and it just, it just traveled. And that's what I find cool about watercolor and also very difficult. So here, I made a few mistakes. Um, you'll see in a moment. I'm still just layering up the hair, adding some shadow to the face. Shadow under the chin, the collarbone. I noticed her, her chest area needed to be a little bit darker to match her face. So I think I'm gonna do that. You can hear my boys in the background. I made a little mistake there. I touched, see I just barely touched it with some light blue and it just scattered, which is really kind of neat. So there I'm adding some extra tone to her, her chest area. Adding some more shadows to the side of her nose. Now here's where I made a mistake, see? I wanted to make a line that was distinct, but the watercolor the, the, the part of her face there was still wet, and so the watercolor traveled, which is what watercolor is supposed to do. It travels along water. So wherever you put water on the paper, the paint is gonna travel, and so I had to wipe it off a little bit to fix her eyebrow. And so if you don't want the paint to travel, you have to wait until it dries, which is not what I did there. Um, that part of the skin beside her eyes was dry enough See, I have to fix my mistake there by her cheek. 
more shadows on the nose. Uh, some details once it was dry. When it's dry enough, you can do some really fine details if you want to. Some watercolor styles are not detailed at all. Okay, so after this, this is I'm, I'm covering it with a pen, but I had blow dried it. I don't know if that's okay or not, but I, I didn't have a lot of time to finish the video, so I blow dried my painting, so it was super dry. Then I started outlining in, in a cartoon style my, my sister's face with a really fine tipped pen, uh, felt pen that I have. I don't know the exact size. Uh, maybe you can see it there. Okay, 0 0.05. So I'm just outlining all the details. And now this is just, just the style of watercolor that I chose, but there's many different styles of watercolor painting. I just like doing the colored portion and then adding the details after with a pen. So this is my lovely sister sign of my name and voila happy birthday Estelle so that was my attempt at watercolor painting and yeah leave a comment below let me know what you thought and here's the finished result it's okay I mean I feel like I have a lot to learn uh, I really like watercolor I'm actually working on illustrating a book right now using watercolor so I'm gonna keep practicing and I feel like the camera is nodding at what I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you have an awesome day. And if you're not subscribed to the Art Club yet, it would help me out bunches. But if you like the Art Club and you want to support this channel, you can click that button. We'll see you next time here on the Art Club.